Hi everyone, this is Dr. O'Connor, and today I'm going to show you how to calculate a weighted average atomic mass. So here is the problem. It says element X has two naturally occurring isotopes. We're given the um, atomic mass of the X79 isotope and the atomic mass of the X81 isotope. Um, we're also given the percent abundance of each isotope. The first thing I want to do here is convert the percent abundance um, to fractional abundance. Okay, so how do I do that? I just divide each by 100. I then will multiply each isotope's atomic mass by the fractional abundance. So let's go ahead and start with X79. And X79 has a mass of 78.9183 atomic mass units. And I'm going to multiply that by the fractional abundance. The percent abundance is 50.69. I divide that by 100, and my fractional abundance is 0 0.5069. I will then look at X81. And the atomic mass of X81 is 80.92 atomic mass units. And I'll go ahead and multiply that by its fractional abundance, which is 0 0.4931. So um, I'm going to multiply um, this first one here, 78.9183 times 0.5069. And I end up with 40.00369 atomic mass units. And then I multiply the second one, and I end up with 39.901. Atomic mass units. My next step then is add these two values. Another thing I have to look at are significant figures here. Um, when I multiply uh, this top one here, um, I'm limited by this value here. I have four significant figures here. So I'm going to go ahead and underline the last digit that I can retain for this one. And then the same um, here. I can only have four significant figures. So I'll underline this. And that means that now I'm going to add these. So that means that my answer can have no more than two digits beyond the decimal point. So let me go ahead and put this um, answer in. So I have 79.90 atomic mass units. And this, again, is to the correct number of significant figures.